All right, today we are going to work on finding area of squares and rectangles. This can be so much fun. And this is also a great tool uh, for using our scratch pad, drawing pictures to help us find area, as well as our knowledge of multiplication is a winning combination to do a great job on area problems with squares and rectangles. So first question says, a square area rug has side lengths of one foot. What's the rug's area? Okay, hold on one second. I only see one side length mentioned. It says one foot. What is the other key word here? It's a square. So what does that mean about our square? A square's sides are all what? Equal. So I draw a square as best as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And it says the side lengths are one foot. So that means each side is one foot. We want to know what the area is. How do I find area? Well, one way to do that is to count the squares inside the large rug. Well, we don't have that. So that's when we use our multiplication. The formula for area is length times width. Length times width. So for this problem, it is one foot by one foot. So what is one times one? One, so we would say our area for this rug is one square foot. Let's try another one. In order to determine how much seed to buy, Jaden needs to find the area of a square plot of farmland. What is the area if the width and height is two kilometers? Okay, here we go. We need to find the area. And what kind of plot? Is it a square or rectangle? Square plot. And that's why I'm underlining and circling, finding those keywords. And look at, they even give it to us. The width and height is two kilometers. So if I have a square and this is two kilometers and this is two kilometers, how do I find it? What's my formula? Remember, area equals length times width. So I would multiply two times two equals, what is two times two? Two times two is, that's saying I have two times two, is four. So the area is four square kilometers. Next, Michael is an engineer and has to design the solar sail for the population system, for the propulsion system of a new spacecraft. The larger the area of the sail, the greater thrust it will gain from the solar radiation. If the rectangular sail has sides of two feet and five feet, then what's its area? Okay, we have a lot of information here. We have a lot of words. And this is why it's important to highlight or underline or circle what's important. It kind of gets rid of the extra noise around it. Okay, so if the rectangular sail, it's a rectangle, has sides of two feet and five feet, what's the area? Well, look at, we know it's a rectangle. We know one side is two feet, which means so is the opposite, and the wider sides are five feet. What will I multiply? Two times five, which equals what? 10, good job. So the area is 10 square feet. All right, next problem. The surface of a piece of cardboard is five feet long and two feet wide. What is the piece of cardboard's area? All right, again, we're finding our area. Does it say if it's a square or rectangle? 
It doesn't, but it gives us clues. It says the cardboard is five feet and two feet. So that means that it is a rectangle. So I know one side is five feet, and I know the other side, the shorter side, is two feet. So can I multiply? Yes, one side times the other side, length times width. Five times two equals what? Five times two is 10, so that means it is 10 square feet. Good job. Next, William lives on the International Space Station. In order to calculate the power gained by the solar panels, William needs to find their area. If a rectangular panel is one foot long and four feet wide, what is the area? All right, we're looking for area again. What is the shape of the panel? Is it a square or a rectangle? It's a rectangle. So we can draw a rectangle. Okay, one side is one foot and the other is four feet. So I know one foot and four feet. Okay, so what will I multiply? What is length times width? It is one times four. And we know that one times four equals four. So the solar panel has an area of four square feet. Next, a tabletop has sides of five feet and two feet. What is the area? Okay, again, we want area and we want five feet by two feet. Is that a rectangle or a square? Rectangle because the sides are not equal. So I have five feet and two feet. Now you might say, why am I not labeling all four sides? I could, but I don't want to confuse that with perimeter, where perimeter where we add all the sides. I just want to focus on the area. So that's why I'm only labeling two sides of the rectangle. So I multiply the length and the width, five times two, which equals 10. So the area of the tabletop is 10 square feet. An area rug has side lengths of four feet by four feet. What is the rug's area? Okay, again, we want the area, so we're doing our length times width. What are the dimensions? Four feet by four feet. So what kind of shape is that? Is that a rectangle or square? Specifically, it's a square because all the sides are even. So I have four feet and four feet. How will I find that area? Four times four. Area is length times width. What is four times four? That equals 16. That's saying if I broke this up into equal pieces, that it would take 16 one-foot squares to fill in that rug. So it's 16 square feet. Next, in order to determine how much seed to buy, Abigail needs to find the area, a rectangular plot of farmland. What is the area? if the width is five kilometers and the height is one kilometer. All right, let's mark our important information. We want the area. That means we're multiplying. The width is five kilometers and the height is one kilometer. So we know we have a rectangle. The short side is one kilometer and the longer side is five kilometers. So, what do I multiply? Five times one, which equals five. So our area is five square kilometers. Next, in order to find the amount of flooring Kaylee needs to buy, find the area of a rectangular room. 
that has a width of four meters and a height of two meters. Well, what are we finding? We're finding area. And what kind of shape is it? It's a rectangular room. And it is four meters by two meters. So the shorter side is two meters and the longer side is four meters. Remember, area is length times width. Could I say width times length? Sure. Order doesn't matter with multiplication. So if you do two times four or four times two, you're still gonna get what product? What will your answer be? Eight. So our answer is eight square meters. Let's try one more. Evan lives on the International Space Station. In order to calculate the power gained by the solar panels, Evan needs to find their area. If a rectangular panel is four feet long and one foot wide, then what is the area? All right, again, we're finding area. It's a, what kind of panel? Rectangular. What are my side lengths? One side is four, one side is one. And I like to label it simply because it's a visual. I'm a visual learner, so that helps me. So four times one equals what, guys? It equals four. So the area of the panel is four square feet. Way to go. You rocked it.